All right, hello, welcome back. We are uh, playing a downloadable game called Her Majesty's Spiffing. If you have a uh, game system that can be downloaded, I recommend this one. It's uh, done in the style of point and click. Um, and it's essentially puzzle solving and silliness, which is the main thing of all these games. Um, so, right here by the fourth wall, we're going uh, Yep, to solve the next little puzzle here, which basically I need to get online, download some uh, equipment so that the ship here. can. Um, now, to download this driver. Yep, so that we can pilot the ship again since I we broke just it. Need to connect to the internet first. So we're going to try and solve that. But we're going to talk about today um, the difference uh, between uh, intelligence, knowledge, and Bingo. experience. Found it. And oh, hmm. Very odd. It won't let me save onto the disc. And so, really, knowledge itself is um, basically raw data. It's just hmm. information. There appears to be something stuck in the Intelligence drive. is how we apply the information, how we uh, react to the information, and what we do to solve it. And experience is edge, a century. bit like um, knowledge. But it, it, in the fact that it is raw data, but it's also uh, raw data that we have Cutting edge 20th century. experienced personally. So it's more visceral than is just knowledge. So knowledge comes from any source. Anything. Experience comes from Aha! our own, only how we have lived our lives. So I can't seem to save onto it for some reason. So specifically, I'm going to step away here so you can take a look around. By the way, that you got the fourth wall. I, I, I might run through here a little bit and show you before showing you this uh, puzzle with the disc that we can't save onto. Show you a couple of the gags and jokes we have in here. Um, like I said, knowledge is always good, but it's raw data. It's so yeah, danger vacuum here. But the raw data is often it is good to have, like I said, but. You know, it's not necessarily serious. applicable to intelligence. In other words, somebody might have the raw data, but not the intelligence to use it. Some other person might have the intelligence to use it, but not the raw data to be able to, to know how it should be used or what you should I do. I'm feeling rather peckish. So, so how is this applicable to what we are watching and That's what we're talking it. about? I'm going gluten-free when I get back to old blighty. Yeah, toasters, dangerous things. Well, the way it's applicable, let's step out and we'll kind of show you this little puzzle. This disc is not savable on it. Now, those people who are of my generation, we're going to take a look at, closer look at this. Examine I it. Can't seem to we can turn, to move. This is obviously an old-fashioned hard hard disk or soft. It's not a floppy. It's it's a hard disk. Um, I actually forget what they're they're called offhand. Now, the way to solve this puzzle is to get it to record information is actually obvious to people of my generation, or, uh, or it is if they remember using these things. So. Let's see if you can solve that. So that down there at the bottom is a lock. Right there. It essentially means that the information, you can't record over the information on there. So, all you have to do is flip it, and now it will record. Now the interesting thing is, that's from a previous generation. That is not this generation of doing it. That is my, uh, yeah, it's my generation, essentially. Fantastic. And most generation, most uh, millennials will have no idea how to do it. And as this game actually tells you to do, you'll have to uh, Google the wiki in the words of this game. But yeah, it's that to solve that, you don't need intelligence. You need either experience, or knowledge. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, gosh, is that the time? It'll be starting to get dark outside. 
Best yeah. check up on Alec and see if he's dried off. You're in space, so that's actually quite a funny comment there. But yeah, like I said, you it's remarkable how much information you can be stored need on something so compact. Knowledge to be able to solve that puzzle. You need the knowledge of how to use those things, or you need need to look it up on Wikipedia to find out. But it's not something you would normally at least millennials would normally have access to that information, so it makes it an interesting little puzzle to solve. And on here, and that's kind of the difference. And like I said, experience is visceral. For example, I have played this game all the way through a couple times, and um, so I pretty much know how to solve all the uh, puzzles in it. So that's, uh, it's known as inductive reasoning or logic was when, is what I use when I solve this, because I remember solving it. I have that experience. Um, I don't need to have the knowledge of uh, previous computers to know how to solve that particular problem because, like I said, I have the experience of playing this game. So anyway, that's a, just a quick little uh, video on that explaining just subtle little differences between uh, knowledge, experience, and intelligence. Intelligence is how you apply your knowledge and your experience. Knowledge and experience are pretty much the same thing, just come from different sources. Knowledge can come from anything, from a book to uh, the internet. Now, how good that knowledge is really depends on what the book and the internet, truthfully, or the website you're on. And experience comes from actually living through something. So, just to give that a little flavor, you there's an old uh, movie that from the uh, 80s that I watched where he had a soldier who'd been trained for combat. And people started shooting at him, and he starts dancing around to scream, they're shooting at me, they're shooting at me. He had been trained, and he had had the knowledge of what he should do in combat, but he hadn't actually experienced combat, so his reaction to that is not always, was not the best it could have been. Anyway, that's kind of a look at, at those uh, three things. Uh, like the and subscribe if you like it. Yeah, that just sounds wrong, doesn't it? Like and subscribe if you like it, and yep, I will see you in the next video. Bye.